responded to that disappointment. Obviously, well, it was a difficult day, and as always, we analyze and we do the tough, uh, the reality. It was a reality check, so we have to learn from it and then carry on. At training this morning, there was no Harry Maguire, Raphael Varane, Aaron Wambasaka, or Donny van der Beek. Um, could you provide us an update on those four players, please? Not available for tomorrow. Do you think they'll be available soon? Um, yes, in case of Rafa. I, I have good hope. Um, uh, Harry will take a little bit longer. And the other two, I cannot give a prognosis. Okay. Bruno, you were a uh, captain on Sunday. Did you feel that the team let itself down and there was a sense of anger? No, obviously we, we know that uh, the game that we did was not uh, good enough for our standards, for, for what we have set for ourselves, for what we want to achieve this season. Um, and uh, no, we, we have let down the club altogether, not just one or, or two players. Altogether we, we didn't do did, uh, enough to win the game, uh, to, get, uh, to get points from that game. And uh, we all, all, when I mean all this, all, starting on me, all disappointing with the, with the result, obviously. You've been playing very well up to that point, the previous four games, and taken on the armband. Did you feel an extra responsibility at the moment as captain on the field? No, the responsibility is, is, is playing for this massive club. Everyone has to, to feel the same responsibility. Uh, we have to share that. Um, doesn't matter who, who has the armband on, on the pitch. Obviously, we know that being captain for this club is, is such an honour, but I think the responsibility is, is for, for the badge we have on the chest, and, uh, and that, that that's the biggest responsibility we can have. And just just one more to you, Bruno. The previous four games, there was a lot of positives. Um, how much positivity has there been under the, the new manager and the way you're playing and how you've been doing? Apart from the derby, obviously. Even, even on the derby, we have to take that for, for seeing what we have still margin to improve. Uh, it's still a long way to, to go. Uh, we know what we want to achieve, we know what we, we want to do. Uh, I know what the manager wants from, uh, from me. I think we all know what the manager wants for us uh, as, as a team. And, uh, and I think now it's just, it's just the time to get back uh, to the good results. And we have the chance to do it tomorrow straight away. Thank you. Uh, Eric, I know you've spoken about the reasons Ronaldo didn't figure in the Manchester derby, but obviously the fact that he wasn't used has opened up the debate as to whether he could go in January. Um, with that in mind, what's your response to those who would suggest that Ronaldo will leave the club in the next transfer window? Uh, I can't see so that uh, that relation that he's not coming on uh, when when we are 4-0 down, 5-1 down, 6-1 down, uh, and I don't bring him out of respect. So it's nothing to do what's uh, what's happening uh, for the future and what's happening for January or next year. At the same time, Ronaldo is someone who obviously wants <coughs> to play. So from the conversations that you have with him, what would you gauge about his mood at the moment? How happy? And if he is unhappy, does it make sense to keep a player like that around the club? Does it have an impact on the squad? I don't see he is unhappy. So he, he is happy, he's training well, he's enjoying. I think everyone is training well. There's a good spirit and, and vibe on the training. So um, that's, not, that's not the point. And, but, but it's important because it's a base to work well. What contribution then do you still see him making this season? And obviously, I presume you still see him making that contribution beyond January. You know, we, you, uh, everyone knows. What do you expect from from strikers? Uh, first, production, and second, also in football, it's eleven. Uh, nowadays, football eleven defend, uh, eleven attack. So everyone has to contribute. Eric, um, you're, you said about a reality check on Sunday. You're the manager of the team. You see them training every week. Was it a reality check for you as well in terms of? the progression of the team and maybe it, the results looked as though the progression had gone further than it actually had? No. I know when you are going in a process, it will not go only upside. You will have setbacks. And we beat the number one in the league. We need, we beat Liverpool. On Sunday, we had a bad day. Bad day at the office. Clear. And then we got beaten. And... Um, 
And uh, in this moment, uh, on that day, City was, was better. Uh, we have to accept that, but what we can't accept is our performance. That was unacceptable. Do you agree with that, Bruno? You, you came into the club and the club went up, then it dropped back, then it seemed to go up again, then it dropped back again, and Eric's come in and you, you've had bad results at Brentford, then good results, then another bad result. How, how do you get the, incons- uh, the inconsistency out of your game and where is the level of Manchester United at the moment? Oh, as you said, when I, when, I came to, uh, when I came to the club, uh, probably was not, not the best period for the club. Uh, we did really well, we went to the Champions League. The season after we get the second place, we went to the final of Europa League. Um, and obviously in my third season was not was not uh, the standard that this, this club deserves. Obviously we, we start this season with a, with a project. I think it's, the, it's clear from the club that um, we, we want to make uh, a standard uh, with the manager uh, an idea of play, um, and I think everyone has to be in the same in the same page. I think it's been like that, even with that two defeats, because we did really well in the preseason. We get back, and we understand that the Premier League is not that easy. So we have to be at a high standard, at high level, and understand that every game will be difficult. We get our four consecutive, consecutive wins straight away with the, with big teams, with Arsenal that is doing really well, with Leicester that is always tough to play away, Southampton is always tough to play away, and uh, obviously with Liverpool. Uh, and and now we have this setback, but this that hasn't hasn't changed nothing on our ideas, on our way of playing, on on what we want to do as a team. And I think. Uh, and should be like that. The club doesn't want to change nothing at all because I think it is a process, as, as the manager said. Uh, and, and in this kind of process, because if we if we go to the reality, we are three months together with the manager, so this will get time. Obviously, completely different ideas. And uh, I think the team is doing really well. We had a bad result against one of the the better teams of our league. So it's it's tough because he's, he's a rival, he's, he's in a derby. The result was, was where it was. But now it's time to get back and uh, and win straight away tomorrow, as I said. And after, get get our way again to, to win consecutive, consecutive games. Well, where do you say the level of Manchester United, though? I mean, on, on Sunday it looked as though that was quite a long way away from Manchester City, but... Is it ahead of Arsenal, level with Arsenal? No, we, don't, we, don't. we don't have to focus on uh, anyone else. We have to focus on ourselves. That has been the problem for the club in, uh, in the previous years, that we want to compare ourselves with other teams. We can't do that. We have to do the best we can for this club because this club deserves to be at the top. But we have to look at ourselves. We have to look inside and understand where are the problems, where are the mistakes, what we can improve. Because you can't change anything away from here. You can change what you do here, on the day by day, on the training sessions, on the games. You can you can do different things for yourself, for your team, uh, and that is what we have to think. Not about uh, Arsenal, Liverpool, or wherever. We have to think at, at ourselves, doing the best we can, win every game that we have in uh, in our hands, and and the future will say where we have where we have to be on the table. If it's first, second, third, fourth, or even lower. Um, rules were broken on Sunday, according to Eric, in terms of I think pressing maybe off the ball or some positional things. Have you? Can you sort of identify what those rules were and, and have you had open, honest conversation with teammates about what they were and so that they don't happen in future? No, oh, we, had, we had a meeting, as the manager said, we, we went to, to see the, the tough things, see the mistakes that we did. Um, and, and as I said, after the game, I said straight away, I, I think we conceded three goals on a counter against a team that normally plays in possession. So we knew it that when they don't have the ball, they have some players that stay up front, that want to counter, that want to have the ball straight away when they win it. And uh, and, and we could avoid that. We didn't, and they, they, scored, they scored the goals. But as I said, we, see, we saw that, we know what, what was the mistakes. And now more than see and understand what was the mistakes, is don't repeat it again and, uh, and get back, as I said. Uh, get back to the be- to the best results as we can to win games because that in football is where it counts. And uh, even if we have done a, a bad game against City and uh, and we have scored six goals and was six six, everyone was will be probably more happy. But obviously, I think uh, the main thing for us now is get back on the winning track and uh, and carry on. Question for May. It's obviously a long process that we're undertaking here. We've had some signs of success. Does a game against City? 
mean that you tweak anything in, in those kind of big games against such quality opposition or is it just part of the, the building process and, and players will need to have these kind of bumps along the way? What is tweak? To a tweak, to change a little. Or to change. So after the Brentford game, it seemed like passing out from the back maybe was altered. Um, would you adapt certain principles for certain big games? It's, it, that's what you always do, so um, that you take respect of the opponent. Uh, but we will stick to our philosophy. Uh, we will stick to our rules and our principles, but that's tactic. Sometimes you, um, in your tactic, you uh, also to surprise opponents. Uh, you have to, to bring something different than your game, and we will do, uh, also for the future. And, but I think, well, what's good? I think we can... Uh, uh, get a lot of confidence about this series when you beat Arsenal, when you beat Liverpool, and uh, now we get a reality check uh, with Man City. Uh, so we know uh, that we 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 have to step up, and, um, and that is so. Thank you for the lesson uh, from Pep and City, uh, but we will take that, uh, and we have to understand we have to do things much better. Uh, last question in the room from time. Hi Eric, um, just want to talk about Casemiro, obviously he's sort of had a, a slow adaptation to, to Manchester United, still trying to, to get into the Premier League team, what, what more does he have to do to force his way into that team and can he use these Europa League games to try and build up his fitness for Premier League football, because obviously it's often played, tomorrow we'll played at a different tempo to the Derby was for example. First of all, I don't make a difference, Europa League, uh, Premier League, we have to win all the leagues huh? and all, all the uh, cups and uh, what else. So uh, we will play tomorrow our best team and we have to, to, to construct a team because also we want a competitive um, culture in our team, in, in this club. And um, I said already before, it, was nothing, it had nothing to do with Casemiro, it had always all to do with, um, with Scott. And because when you summit up Brentford, he wasn't in the team, we lose. Huh? And then um, Casimir, uh, he came on the day that Casemiro signed and we win, uh, we played six games, we win five. And in five games, uh, he played. Uh, and in one game he did it, that was against Sociedad. So for me, then it's that logical uh, because it's competition in the team. And uh, uh, so for me, was that, is the, was that the choice? And he performed really well, he developed really well and nothing had nothing to do with Casemiro. But I'm sure that... Um, Kasse will play a really important role and we know all his background uh, we know all the titles he won and uh, you see every day in training he can contribute um, in this team and he will be a really important player for this for this team so um, we will see what will happen but I'm convinced uh, of, the, of that that will happen okay we have time for just a few questions from the analysts in Cyprus via Zoom and we'll start with Rob Dawson Hi, um, a question for, for Bruno, if possible. Um, the manager on, on Sunday referenced them. He thought it was a lack of belief that contributed to the, the defeat at City. I just wondered, do, do you feel that that is still probably an issue in the dressing room, that, that even though you've had a, a couple of wins, the confidence is still quite fragile? No, the, com the confidence has, has, has to grow up because we know we have been doing really well and we can't, we can't be just putting everything away we have done because of a result. Um, we, we didn't when we lost the first two games and, uh, and so we shouldn't do it now and I think everyone is aware of that. Everyone knows what we have to do and uh, it, it's about, as I said before, get back to the wins, uh, believe in the, in the process because as I said before, it's a process, we'll get time. Uh, we've, we've been doing really well in the recent uh, previous games before City uh, is a setback, but you have to get up. And uh, as, as, as everyone knows, um, it's, it's when you when you start getting a, a good result, and if, if and we will get a good result tomorrow, we will be back, and uh, and that is the most important thing. Uh, Dave McDonald. Uh, question for Eric. Um, Eric, you said Cristiano Ronaldo is happy, but how can a player of his status and ambition and pride be happy when he's not playing? He's not happy that he wasn't playing Sunday, don't get me wrong, but that wasn't the question. The question was how he was how he's on the training pitch and what his mood is when he is around. And yeah, then, um, then, then uh, he's happy. Uh, but of course he wants to play and he's pissed off when he's not playing. 
Yeah, clear. Another question from Jamie Jackson. Hi, um, question for Eric. Just going back to your comment, I think you just repeated it now about why you didn't bring on Cristiano against Manchester City. I think you said, we certainly said on Sunday, out of respect for his career, but I'm a bit confused because it sounds like special treatment for one player as if he's not the same as the others. I mean, why put on Anthony Martial if you're losing 5 1? Why is he any different? Ah. I think it's, for me, it's quite obvious. For you, maybe not. But I, I think also you understand huh? why, did it, why did this. So I didn't hear the response, but um, I, I am actually confused why you said that. Because why have any player on, on the bench, whether he's 37 or you know, 21, if you're not prepared to use him? It's his career. It seems odd. Uh, well, I said you, you didn't hear my answer, but I think you know why that is. Huh? When you are honest, huh, then you know there, there is a difference. But for me, it's no difference. For me, it's the best. Huh? Let, let me make myself clear. It's, um, it's always about uh, you live by the day and you line up the strongest team you have. Don't get me wrong. But there are differences. Uh, no one is the same in a team. Actually, and also the the, the treatment, uh, I, um, I will treat everyone with respect. Uh, uh, but there's, they have all different backgrounds, and also from character, uh, they are different. So also, I have to to treat players different to get the best out of them. Uh, but there are certain general, uh, let's say, values and standards. Uh, what's for, what counts for everyone? Okay, do we have any other questions in Cyprus? Okay, last question from Chris Weaver. Yes, hi Eric. You said that um, he isn't happy not playing, but otherwise he does seem happy to you. In your conversations with him, do you sense that the, he, he accepts the, the role he has at the club and that he sees himself being part of that for the rest of this season? Yeah, I, I never talk about what I talk. My conversations with with players uh, are uh, between 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 us. Uh, that's um, that's quite quite clear. But when I tell you, yeah, uh, uh, one of course, like all the players, because when you are here and when you are happy, or when you are satisfied, when you are on the bench, then this is not the the club where you have to be. Uh, so and, all, and especially Cristiano, he's a really competitive, as we all know. He is not happy, of course, when he is not playing. Uh, but um, I already said, and then I have to repeat, uh, but maybe you didn't hear. Uh, he's training well. Uh, he has a good mood, and uh, he's motivated, and he gives his best. So, um, and that is what we.